a spooky tree silhouette with a moon in the background. But first, I want you to practice creating values with pencil. We're going to do a value study. Remember, value is the lightness and darkness of a color. In this case, we're going to start by drawing a rectangle and dividing it into five smaller rectangles. The first thing you'll do with your pencil is color in as lightly as you can. And then each rectangle will be a little bit darker than the last rectangle. This is how you create a pencil value study. Notice how I'm using the side of my pencil so that the side of the lead is what is coloring on the paper. I started with the lightest and I'm going to the darkest. Of course, if you wanted to, you could always start with the darkest and go to the lightest. You're going to number them, one, two, three, four, five. And then when you're finished creating the values, write, write lightest next to the lightest and write darkest next to the darkest. And that's your value study. After your value study, Turn the page in your sketchbook and practice drawing a tree without leaves. Sometimes this can seem difficult, but trust me, it's easier than you think. Start with the tree trunk. I'm drawing the roots, but I realize later that you don't need to draw the roots because we're making a silhouette of a tree. A silhouette happens when there's light behind an object and that object looks dark. Okay, so now I'm drawing branches of my tree. Did you notice that I drew a V? Watch, I drew another V. A tree without leaves can simply be made by drawing Vs over and over. Another V. And I can make some little Vs in between the other branches. My tree is going all the way to the top of my paper, and that's okay. It's okay if it goes off the page also. There was a V, and here's another V. It's okay if you make mistakes, or if it's okay if you have lines in between the branches, like right there. Later, we're going to be coloring our tree entirely with black. So any mistakes that you make, you can color over. Don't be afraid to experiment with different ways to make the branches. If making V's isn't working for you, then try something else. You could always make lines for branches and then go back in later and make them thicker. After you practice in your sketchbook, then move on to your project paper. It's okay if you'd like to practice more than once in your sketchbook. Now I'm doing my project paper and I draw the tree the same way. I start with the tree trunk and then I start filling it up with branches. Lots and lots of these. In real life, tree branches go behind each other and in front of each other. You can see how mine are crossing over sometimes too. You can add smaller little branches at the end. You can add bigger branches to the side. Try to use a lot of the space. After you draw the tree branches and the whole tree, then you're going to draw a moon in the background. I forgot about this step, so I didn't leave room at the top of my page for a moon. So my moon is going to be low in the sky. If you want, you can make your moon higher up in the sky. I did a crescent moon. You could do a full moon if you want. We're going to color the tree black with chalk, but actually I made a mistake here. After I started coloring, 
I decided that I really should do the background first. Our tree is going to be the darkest value. The sky is going to be a medium value. And the moon is going to be the lightest value. So I'm going to create a medium value in the sky. I'm using pencil for the sky. You guys will too. You're going to color in with the side of your pencil just like you did when you made a value study. This is going to take some time. I want you to be neat. I want you to do a good job making it look the same in the whole sky. As I was working, I realized my sky needs to be a little bit darker, so I'm going back over it to make it a little darker. Don't worry if you accidentally color over some of the branches of your tree. Remember, we're going to be making those really black. However, if you color on the moon, you should erase what you did. I colored in my whole sky with pencil, and now I have just a small piece of paper towel and I'm rubbing over my pencil. This will help rub it into the paper. It will also help the sky look like it's all the same color of gray. If you rub over your tree branches it will make them really blurry and hard to see so you might want to kind of erase as you work so you don't forget where your branches are. I'm going to rub the entire sky with this little piece of paper towel. It's hard to see, but it is there under my finger. It just makes it look really smooth and the same or uniform for the whole sky. Now I'm going to clean up my moon. I don't want any smudges on the edges of my moon. And then to create the light value on the moon, I'm simply going to use my dirty paper towel. And then I'm going to trace around my moon just to make sure that it looks nice and neat on the edges. Now I'm going to color in my tree using a piece of black chalk or charcoal, sometimes it's called. The charcoal is very, very messy. So you're going to want to try and keep your fingers as clean as you can on your other hand. You don't want to get your fingers all black and smudgy and then touch your sky or your moon. So try to keep one of your hands really, really clean and don't touch the black chalk. I outlined some of my branches before I colored them. That will help me stay in the line. Remember, you want the tree to be the darkest part of your picture. It should be a really, really dark, solid value. Make sure you fill it all in. There should be no streaky parts, no gray areas. The moon is causing the tree to be a silhouette. If there's chalk dust, don't rub it over your paper. Do what I just did and shake your paper off over your table. If there are any black fingerprint smudges in the background in your sky, you can sometimes get them off by rubbing with a paper towel, kind of rubbing them in. You also might need to use an eraser and then go back over with pencil. Clean up your drawing, make everything look nice and neat, and finish. I hope you guys have fun with this. Remember, we're creating a three-value tree silhouette.